As former U.S. Congressman and lawyer John W. Davis once stated, true, we build no bridges. We raise no towers, we construct no engines, we paint no pictures. There is little of all that we do which the man of eye can see. But we smooth out difficulties, we relieve stress, we correct mistakes, we take up another man's burdens, and by our efforts, we make possible the peaceful life of men in a peaceful state. Many who will watch us work will not understand this. And that's okay they'll receive their protections too. But we understand that someone has to speak out to make sure that the integrity of our legal system, of which we now join, remains intact. And perhaps if we carry ourselves above the stereotype, above the negative perception, above the ignorance, that opinion may change, but it may not. And in the end, it does not matter what the world thinks of the work we are about to do. The important perception is the one we hold of ourselves. Because as much as the diploma we receive today represents all that we have accomplished, more than that, it represents the opportunity that now lies in front of us. It is a key that has the ability to unlock a great many doors. And now we get to decide what doors we will enter. Some of those doors open up to large corner offices and tall skyscrapers. Some come with a reasonable 70-hour work week. Behind some doors, you'll work for a strict interpretation of constitutional rights, and others will look to expand them. It is easy to think now, in this job market, in this economy, that we must open the first door that is available. Or to think that with this amount of school debt, we must walk into the door with the highest paycheck. But I urge us to fight this temptation. We have all worked extremely hard to get here. We have sacrificed a great deal of our time, money, our social lives to arrive at this point. Our faculty and professors have all made great sacrifices for us to get here. <coughs> Our family and friends have made great sacrifices for us to get here. Hold on. <coughs> Not a good morning to wake up with the cold. And now, <laughs> we're going to get back there. <laughs> and now, we owe it to them. We owe, <coughs> we owe it to each other to not succumb to scarcity thinking. <coughs> to not sacrifice our dreams for paychecks or titles. <coughs> we, have, we have been given a great opportunity with the knowledge and tools we now possess. And it is our responsibility and privilege to go out now and find work that we love. <coughs> find careers that we're passionate about. We might still have to take a job or two we do not care for. <coughs> but every door we enter, every door we unlock, should be walked into because it leads us along a path we are passionate about the path we excel at. And this won't always be easy. <coughs> For our diploma may have been the key to the door, but it is not a map to the inside. 
It will be hard, just as getting here was hard. But we have prepared for a life of challenge. So to my graduating class of 2010, let's go meet it. <laughs>